Hi there, today I'm going to be talking about the Gauss-Markov assumption of random sampling and what it actually means in reality. Well, a, the mathematical definition of random sampling is that if I have a collection of random variables y1 through yn, if they are independent, so that means that the probability of getting y1, given that I've selected y2, is completely independent of y2. And also that they come from the same common PDF, so probability distribution function. Then that implies, or it is implied by, that this is a random sample. Well, okay, so that's the mathematical definition. But what does it mean in reality? Well. Just going back to what we're trying to do in econometrics, we've got some sort of population and there is some sort of population process. So wages is equal to some sort of linear function of education um, in our population. Well, a random sample in this case is we are selecting individuals with two attributes. So they've got a level of wages and they've got a level of education. So if we take an individual from here, let's say, they have a given level of wages and a given level of education. So wages one and education one. And if I have a random sample, then, well, my choice of this individual doesn't affect the likelihood that I'm going to affect, uh, choose another individual who has a level of wages, let's say two, and education two. Or another way of thinking about this is if I chose an individual who had a high level of wages and education, that doesn't make it more likely that I'm going to choose another individual who happens to have a high level of wages and education. That would be violating my random sampling assumption. Well, okay, so how are the ways, or what are the ways in which this could be violated in reality? Well, if I had two populations, so I had a population one and a population two, and in each of these processes, uh, well, each of these populations, rather, there was a population process. So let's say the first population, there was a sort of linear function. A wages were determined linearly from education. And let's say in this second population, there was, or wages were determined by not only by education, but they were also determined by someone's sort of innate level of ability. If I took individuals from both of these different populations and that, constitu uh, that constituted my sample, then note that that wouldn't be a random sample because there wouldn't be, they, individuals wouldn't be coming from some sort of common population function. So they wouldn't be coming from some sort of common population process between wages and education. Another way in which the random sampling something, uh, assumption can be violated is if I happen to pick individuals all sort of from the same area in a population. So it could be a geographical area, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any sort of measure of distance from one individual from another. So in one case, it might not be a random sample if I pick individuals who, who are, happen to be from a very wealthy area within the population. So picking an individual who has a higher level of wages and education makes it more likely that I'm going to pick another individual who has a higher level of wages and education. That would similarly not be a random sample.